What's up everyone? Kyphus here with another Dark Tide guide for you today. We're going to be looking at the Ogren class for a first on this channel. And if you guys haven't been enjoying Ogren that much, maybe you tried it and it wasn't really for you, or um, I don't know, maybe you just haven't been given the class enough of a chance, I definitely recommend this build to you. It's very easy to execute, it's extremely powerful. Uh, it's very fun, it feels very visceral, body parts fly everywhere, you have giant explosions of grenades, uh, you can pop crushers heads off with uh, your brute brain or shovel, it's just a really good time. Uh, and on top of all of it, you're very tanky. So for this video today, I'm going to be showing you the, weapon, or, uh, the weapons, uh, then some combinations to use and how you can use it in the game, uh, and then I'm going to be ending on some of the talent synergies. But don't worry, for those of you that just really want to see the tree, here it is. Please feel free to pause the video and copy it to your heart's content. Go slay the heretics and enjoy. Uh, for the rest of you that want to hear the uh, rest of the guide, uh, let's get into it. So for the weapons, we're going to be using the Brute Brainer Mark V Latrine Shovel. Uh, its special action is to flip the shovel head into an axe position, which you can then strike down, and it does a ton of damage. Very big single target damage attack. attack. For the modifiers, we really want damage, penetration, and first target, and crowd control to be as high as possible. If crowd control is a little lower, that's okay, uh, but defense is your dub stat. For the perks, we're taking carapace armor because one thing that our Lorenz com or, uh, kickback shotgun does not deal with well is carapace armor, so we really want our melee weapon to cover that weakness for us. For the second perk, I have flak damage. If you want to put something else on it, go for it. Uh, I, I wouldn't recommend Maniac on this one because it just doesn't really help you much. You're not going to be killing Maniacs with your shovel most of the time. Most of the time you'll be shooting them. Uh, but if you want to run Unyielding or, you know, Poxwalkers or whatever, feel free. It's fine. Uh, for the Blessings, we're going to be taking Thrust for 20% power based on the charge time of your heavy attack, stacking three times. Effectively, this is going to be 60% power on our special axe attack with our shovel. Uh, that's going to let us two shot crushers to the head, and I think it's like one and a half shot maulers to the head. Um, for our other blessing, we're going to be taking skull crusher. This is mostly going to help us get through hordes. Uh, this particular pattern of shovel has a great heavy attack pattern. It's just side to side swings with a lot of stagger and a lot of cleave. So skull crusher seems to be a natural synergizer there. Um, and I don't know, I think it helps a lot with getting through uh, if things are close to you, it helps get them away from you and helps them die faster, which is great. For our Lorenz, uh, the dam or the modifiers you're going to want is damage, stopping power, and reload speed. Uh, mobility is your true dump stat. You can dump a little bit of range, but don't don't go too low with it, or it's not going to hit anything. For our perks, we're going to use 25% flak damage and maniac damage if possible. Uh, flak damage, because it's the most common armor type in the game, it really helps you deal with most of the elites, like the uh, shot gunners, the scab ragers, the scab and dreg gunners, all of them are flak armored. Flak armored's a big help. Maniac will let you more easily hit breakpoints with the flamers and trappers specifically, which are both very dangerous enemies, so... Being able to kill them at medium range reliably is, is very nice, especially in one hit. And given the kind of quick draw time on the kickback for the Ogren class, uh, I think it's a great tool to just have always to pop those uh, flamers and trappers. Uh, the maniac damage perk, that is. 
For our blessings, we're going to be using Blaze Away and Full Bore. Full Bore is surprisingly easy to proc. Um, it gives you 30% power for 5 seconds when every bullet in a shot hits the same enemy. Uh, as long as the enemy is a little bigger than Chaff and near you, it's very easy to trigger. Uh, it's also very good for killing bosses because it's very easy to hit all of your pellets on the boss because um, they're very big. For other blessing, we're going to be taking Blaze Away for 8% power for every shot fired during continuous fire, stacking 5 times. Effectively, this is going to be up to 40% power when we're really just going full auto mode with the shotgun. To give you a quick demonstration of how Blaze Away works, just so you know you can go into this informed, is it's going to be really difficult to stack if you try aiming pretty much at all. But as you can see, the spread on this is extremely wide so aiming is not strictly required a lot of the time but if you try to aim in you're not gonna be able to stack up blaze away very easily but if you just keep firing the weapon you should see in the bottom left corner there i'm up to four stacks now now i'm at five and i can just keep maintaining that uh it's even easier to stack once you pop your ult up uh, one final thing with the kickback before we get back into it is the pellets. Uh, this is a shotgun, so well, it's more like a grape shot cannon. But as you can see, when I fire it, there's different pellet markings on that pillar. Uh, each of those pellets will count as 12 pellets if they hit a single enemy. So, if, like, this poxwalker gets hit by one pellet out of the 32, I think, that are in the, in the gun, uh, it'll count as 12. So... What that translates to is you absolutely just blow holes through hordes. And it is extremely satisfying. So let's get back to it. This means that Blaze Away is a very powerful uh, blessing for this build in particular. If you're going for, if you're not taking point blank barrage and you're doing like a heavy attack Ogryn or you're going a taunt Ogryn, then this isn't as necessary. But for this build in particular, I think Blaze Away is a must have. Lastly, for our Curios, we're going to be running a max stamina, um, a max health, and a max toughness. Uh, I really like running a stamina on Ogryn just because you're going to be pushing and blocking a lot more than you do on other classes because you're very big. Uh, it also, you're very slow a lot of the time, and I find the stamina and some sprint efficiency helps you kind of just keep up with the group. So that's why I run it, but if you're comfortable without it, it's not a big deal. For the perks, on all three I would say take damage resistance against gunners, you're an ogren, you're a big beefy target, you're very easy to hit. So having 60-ish percent damage reduction against gunners is going to help you a lot and make your life a lot easier. So to end the guide, let's have a look at a few different combinations you can use with your weapons. Uh, this isn't really something I've touched on before, but I feel like for this kind of style of play, Knowing like how to reload your weapon when you're being pressed and things like that or like how you can use your different shovel swings to your advantage might help you all out. So let's have a look at them. So the way we're going to deal with hordes is we're going to be using our push block attack into two heavy attacks. We're just going to rinse and repeat. This is really useful for if a horde is really close to you because sometimes your kickback, it's not going to hit all of them and you can start taking a lot of damage by having your gun out. So what you're going to want to do is if a horde gets close to you, you're going to want to push block attack into two heavy attacks. And you just keep rinsing and repeating that until they're ready. It also has the added benefit of it has a lot of staggers, so it'll throw them around a lot and help your uh, allies deal with them. Uh, lastly, to deal with the elite enemies, what we're going to be doing is just, you can use the special attack with a full charge, it should kill any of them, uh, except for the ogrens. But what I like to do if like a rager is getting close to me and say uh, my gun is empty, what I'll do is I'll push, pull my gun out, reload, block again, and then swap back and kill him. So just to keep that simple, the idea is that you're going to be blocking, pushing, backing up, reload, block again, and just rinse and repeat until you have your shot ready. Uh, so that's how I like to deal with drag ragers because like you can chop them to death, but it, it takes quite a long time, and it's just less efficient than you know. Oh no, push! Just much easier.
also feels like they kind of deserve it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked the guide, uh, the dip into the Ogryn class. Next up is going to be um, a Zealot knife build. I know, I know, but I really I have a fun take on it for y'all. I think it's a lot of fun. It kills bosses like crazy, and it's very good at just dealing with problems for your team. So please stay tuned for that and a lot more Dark Tide content coming at you. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Now go out and slay some heretics. Kyphus, out.